What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie meal prep recipe, I have got another warming recipe for you. And it is based off of a very popular Fit Man Cook recipe. I'm gonna remake the entire thing and give it a slightly different flavor profile and also make it low carb. Can you think of what that recipe is? I know there have been so many, but this one I know that you are going to love. Today in the kitchen we are making a low carb chicken chipotle tortilla soup. Mm. You know, I'm just gonna drop the idea right here. That's how hot the recipe is. I'm just gonna drop, ah, boom. Imagine a recipe just dropping right now. I am already starting to sweat right now just thinking about the heat of this recipe. Not only in terms of the flavor, but just also how banging it is. And I'm gonna show you all how to put everything together in a really simple way. Gonna get you in and out of the kitchen in less than an hour. And I got some more good news, because I know that many of you are probably gonna ask this in the comments anyway, but yes, this is an Instapot recipe, all right? And it's really good for me because today I am firing up the Instapot Duo Evo Plus for the very first time. They just sent me this, and so today we're gonna fire it up. So this is not only just a recipe video, but it's also just a product review video. And you're gonna find my reaction to it, very natural, in this video right here. So if I like it, you're gonna find out. If I don't, you're gonna find out too. You know, in Texas, in fact, you know what? Southerners really don't say anything that's impolite, do we? We just kinda like, if we don't say something, that means we don't like it, right? Yeah. So if I don't say anything at all, that means that I don't like it. So, so if you ever meet like a Southerner and they say something like, oh, okay, well, hi instead of nice to meet you, that means they don't like you at all. That means they hate your guts. Or if they say, bless your heart. <laughs> I don't anticipate that because I love the Instapot. I've had mine for years, but I haven't tried out this one, so I'm really anxious to get inside of the kitchen. All right, guys, so if you are ready to roll up your sleeves with me for this amazing chicken chipotle tortilla soup, then let's get started. Oh, let me do my trivia. Okay, I'm gonna give you an easy one because the last time, even though it was a Home Alone and people, everyone knows that movie. But I'm gonna give you a very popular other movie. It's okay. funny, it, it, it's, all right. It's a comedy. You should be able to get it. <clears throat> Man, you know I want some Kool-Aid. Man, you want some Kool-Aid? Man, you know I want some Kool-Aid. It's Friday. It's Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do a slow clap for Jesse. Because I was gonna give away an obvious one and be like, and you know this, man. Anyway, let's get on to the recipe, guys. All right, guys, let's get this party started. First thing we're gonna do is set our Instapot to the saute function, put the heat on low. When it heats up, we're gonna add in a little bit of oil, and then we're gonna toss in some onion. Ooh, I love that sound, especially inside the Instapot. It's like super loud, isn't it? <laughs> then toss in some garlic. Be careful, do not burn the garlic. We're gonna add in here a little bit of chili powder and then some cumin. So after about a good two or three minutes and it's really nice and toasty and very fragrant, then we're gonna turn off the saute function and then bring everything together into our Instapot. So we're gonna pour in some chicken stock or some chicken broth. Then we're gonna add in some fire roasted tomatoes. Thicken it up now with a little bit of tomato paste. And then the star of this soup, I've got some chipotle peppers that I've chopped up with the adobo sauce. All right, now this is a low carb tortilla soup. So now we're gonna add in some cauliflower rice. And lastly, we're gonna add in the chicken breast. So these are some chicken tenders. And what we wanna make sure here is that the chicken is totally submerged in the broth. And it looks like we are right there. Okay, so now we're ready to pop the top and bring this entire soup together. Set the temperature on the pressure cooker to high, and then we're gonna cook this for 30 minutes. See y'all in 30 minutes. All right, All right. Yeah, now after 30 minutes, minutes it is time, time to pop this thing open, but first we gotta vent it, so. Ah! Oh, this is really cool. Now look at this. So in the new one, on this duo, they have a little capsule that covers it, the vent, so that way all the water it doesn't get the surrounding area really, really uh, wet. Isn't that cool? Then we're gonna pop the top. Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, this smells tight. Grab some tongs and then take out the pieces of chicken and then gently just tear the chicken apart. Now we're gonna add this back to our Instapot. 
and give it another good stir and you can see it all coming together right now before your eyes. We're gonna add just a little bit of cilantro here, squeeze in a little bit of lime. All right, all right. Let's give us another good stir. Pop the top and we're gonna cook this again for another 10 minutes on low heat. And after about 10 minutes letting of letting everything melt together, melt together and got a little bit of bubble there, super spicy, very, very fragrant. And here we have it, our chipotle chicken tortilla soup, low carb. I got these tostadas. What you can do is you can break them in half, crunch them up, and just sprinkle these right on top. And then a little bit of cheese. Then just add in a little bit of some freshly chopped avocado. And I've been smelling this for almost 30 minutes now, so I'm ready. Oh my God. <laughs> I, got a, I got a pepper. I got a pepper. Look at that. I know I sweat easily, but I'm already sweating right now. The heat coming off of the soup. Okay, I'm gonna put this up there in my top five. Top five recipes right here, bro. <laughs> this is it. I mean, they're all good, right? But then you got your faves. Mm. See the sweat on my forehead? I know I always have sweat, y'all, so stop playing. But today it is warranted because we got this Chipotle tortilla soup. Fire, fire, fire. Here we go, let's go. Man, cool it, guys. He's turning red right now. <laughs> not you are turning red. Not <laughs> that was really good. Oh, man. And let's have some bite to it, some kiss. Mm hmm. <laughs> A little bit. But in a good way, though, Very right? Good way. Yeah, yeah, man. That Chipotle got me sweating. So, all right. <sighs> okay, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all really enjoyed it. I know this recipe is going to be a huge hit in your kitchen. I invite you to make it your own. If you're not a fan of chicken, then just swap in whatever lean choice of protein that you actually prefer. You could do a lean beef. You, you know what? I haven't seen this done before, but if somebody out there wants to do this with a white fish, I'd be very surprised to see what that taste is like. And then if you are going for the more um, plant power route, then you can just swap in some legumes. It's gonna make it really hearty and boost the protein. It's not gonna be low carb, but also things like mushrooms and, and zucchini and other vegetables that, you could, that can just make this a lot heartier and much more filling. But just make it your own, keep it calorie conscious. If you like videos like this, then I invite you to smash that like button below. And remember guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and remember to ring that bell, ding, 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 so you'll be notified every time we post hot new content, literally hot new content. And I will post the link below so you can go ahead and click to find out more information about the Instapot. All right guys, until next time, I want you all to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh, peace. Man, I gotta cool off. <laughs>